Now, when customers apply AI in their workflows, so that, that's probably the biggest thing I see the explosion of token usage, whether they're using RevoDev for coding or they're actually adding an AI agent in a Jira workflow, which is probably the biggest or fastest growing use case of agents in deployment. They just go to their existing workflows. They've already got millions of workflows in Jira and they're like, hey, an agent can help here, an agent can help here. This step here is really just triaging the ticket coming in. An agent could probably do that if we gave it good instructions and they, they just go and just, you know, a, a orchestrate a bunch of agents in a, in a business workflow. That one is fascinating because you'll get customers that will probably will overuse AI when they don't need to. To give you a very simple example, imagine a ticket comes in and you're reviewing the legal contracts or whatever coming in. There are ways where our orchestration framework, automation orchestration framework, lets you do some strong, more deterministic comparison of content of what's in the ticket. For example, there's like some string, like string, string manipulation functions. You can inspect the contents of it. You can say, if the Jira ticket has these words in it, then do that. Now, using the out-of-the-box automation nodes that help you build these Lego pieces is a very effective and cost-efficient way to do that. Now, some customers will be like, oh, I'm just going to switch that to an AI. And you're like, okay, cool. That can also get you the same outcome. But geez, the compute and the tokens on that, it's just like, it's not worth it. Like you're using, somewhat, a customer described it to me once, is like, I realized after putting this in this workflow, what was her phrase? She said, it's like, I've got a rocket launcher and I'm swatting mosquitoes with it. <laughs> uh, and I was like, yeah, that's that's probably not a good use of AI there. Uh, and so they'll use the more deterministic functions uh, in our orchestration framework that let you do like specific string manipulation or comparison or whatever it is. That's a way better solution there. So from a customer's lens, there is some skills to be learned on building tailored agents and deployment workflows is when do you need an agent and when is a large language model appropriate and organizational knowledge appropriate? Or when could you do something a bit more deterministic on the functional side that is much cheaper to execute and run, also more effective from performance perspective as well, because it, it only does one job, right?